Hey you guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today is my birthday, period. I'm 22, what the heck? I'm so excited to be 22, I don't know. I feel like this is just like a really cute age. It just feels like my favorite age, I don't know. Like, I was excited about the hype of 21, but I don't know, 22 feels different. Like, this is gonna be my year despite you know what's going on in the world right now but we're gonna talk about that so today i'm gonna do this beat that's been in my head like a brown and gold beat and i'm also gonna be like keeping this video kind of like minimal like it's honestly just something to post for my birthday um i'm probably gonna do exactly the same face makeup from my soft glam makeup video so if you want more in depth of what i was doing go check out that video but i'm gonna be using my jeffree star thirsty palette i've never used this before and i'm so excited to use it it's so pretty i actually did just kidding i used like the peach like a peach color once in it but it's really bomb like this is like my ideal palette like some shimmers the browns those blue tones i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with my fenty beauty bronzer for my transition shade and then i'm gonna just build it up from there so you guys ooh, and i'm gonna use tape i always forget i have tape but yeah i'm 22 or whatever today god is good all the time can we just talk about that i'm so blessed to see 22. let me do that eye uh, real quick and then i'm gonna start talking okay i have my tape on also you guys i couldn't get my eyebrows done before you know the cute little government lockdown i didn't get my nails done either that's what we're working with but it's okay it's fine because you know what safety and healthy safety and good health is priority you know so it's fine you know like i'm crying but it's okay so i'm just gonna put this in my crease this is the fenty beauty caramel cutie bronzer by the way because i'm a caramel cutie Today was really chill. I honestly, all I did was clean my room. That's all I wanted to do was have a clean room, you know, have a little self-care day, you know, shave, exfoliate, moisturize, and then film a video and take some cute pictures. I'm hoping I'm gonna beat the sun. It says the sun doesn't go down until seven today but like i'm still trying to be on like a little time schedule vibe it's four i was supposed to be done at three but there's that so hopefully it can be done by five and still get some cute pictures because i really want day pictures because of my outfit i'm gonna be positive i'm gonna get my pictures done i'm gonna get my cute little tiktok y'all I am obsessed with TikTok. I said that, but it's true. I learned the savage dance. You know, a little preview. I learned that yesterday, and that's gonna be my TikTok for today. Pretty hyped about it. TBH. yeah i'm so blessed to see 22 i'm probably gonna say that like 53 times because it's just a blessing to still be here you know god gave me another day he gave me another year to see that's so beautiful and i'm grateful also i don't know if i said it but i put like a little thing on my instagram and my snapchat for people to ask me questions and i saw people asking questions so I will pull that up when I get to my face makeup though because my eye is going to take a minute. But yeah. Okay. I think that's good for the crease or whatever. Now I'm going to go in to... I don't know. 
I kind of want to vibe with Comquat or Stroke, but I can't tell. Like Comquat is a bit orange, and Stroke is a bit like a brick vibe. So, okay, Comquat is definitely orange, and Stroke is a bit of like a red orange. So, also, I hope I don't look orange on camera, but whatever. I think I'm gonna go I'm just gonna go into subtle it's like a cool tone brown I have no idea why my camera's not focusing I have no idea how to work it there we go I'm going into this color right here and I'm just gonna take that And kind of do it push it above where I put that um, bronzer color clean my other brushes and I did like a pink look with those so I'm kind of struggling on my brush gel. I'm gonna go into the color drizzle and it's just kind of like a dark chocolate right here. and I'm gonna go on like the inside of my eye to create some depth it's so difficult for me to multitask low-key I don't know so okay let's talk about the you know coronavirus for a moment definitely wasn't expecting her you know she popped up but personally um I'm staying home not that we have a choice now, but like before, like last week, the past two weeks, I've been home. Probably three weeks, to be honest. I don't really know. I just know I've been home. Just gotta take care of yourselves. Cause it's not only, it's mostly, I think the biggest thing is a transmission is pretty much. People just not being considerate of others or just you know walking around with dormant um, symptoms not showing symptoms so it's kind of hard to tell who has it and who doesn't but you just gotta wash your hands if you're sick stay home um, and yeah like now I'm pretty sure for California we can't go out unless it's like to get food or to go to the doctor which should help, you know, contain the virus. But this is gonna pass, you know? It's just one of those bumps, like, what are those, all those plagues that happened back in the old days and stuff? It was just our generation's time, I guess? I don't know. Um, I'm trying not to freak myself out personally and just being mindful of others because I want to make sure my family is safe too so i can't just think about myself um and yeah just wash your hands stay home facetime netflix and chill pretty much the vibe for a little while but it'll pass this is different i haven't done like a really brown look like this in a while like if you scroll down really really hard on my instagram I did kind of a brown and gold look for like Thanksgiving one year. I think it was two Thanksgivings ago probably. And then I'm just gonna go back into that subtle color. Definitely this year, I'm just like, we're just not taking life for granted by any means. 
But I mean, that was my vibe for the start of the year, was to just go after everything I want to do. Though we are on a temporary limit of what we can do. Um, when it passes, I definitely want to travel. Like, I have not been anywhere. Like, I've been to a couple places in the U.S., but, like, I want to go out the country, sis. I want to experience other cultures. I want to see the world that God created. You know? Like, definitely Europe. I really want to go to Europe, even though, like, Italy was the largest place for the virus breakout, aside from China. Um, they're containing it. Like, China's containing it right now. And they've had, they've made a lot of progress, um, you know, so you can't really let that scare you because with time, it's going to get better, but I definitely want to travel, um, definitely just be more active on my YouTube and social media. And that's where I'm like, this is kind of an opportunity to do it and create more content and force myself because I mean, what else am I going to do besides online classes and stuff? So, yeah. But, you know, like, the sad part about it is, is I'm low-key a homebody already. Like, my life is a quarantine, TDH. Um, I'm not, like, antisocial. I'm just, like, selectively social. And, I don't know, I just don't crave going out like that every single day. Like, it's just not, I don't need it. To be okay like literally a good meal some snacks and a good show is like the best day ever literally okay that's that that was an email nobody's hitting me up but anyways i'm gonna go into the color plunge it's this really beautiful brown gold one she's cute i'm gonna try something different i really don't i'm not in the mood to be cutting my crease and doing all that so i'm gonna dip my finger in my ring finger and i'm gonna dab that right into the middle of my eyes that's really pretty and then i'm gonna go back into that dark brown color drizzle and just I'm gonna take away any of the harshness so that it kind of looks like I tried when you do that but really I just use my finger and then I'm gonna go back and take whatever's left with that bronzer blending brush and just continue blending the edges I will say though I kind of forgot but I think that this palette this palette this palette um, I didn't like the amount of fallout that, like, the glitter would give me, personally. But it's really beautiful still, so it's okay. I'm gonna go into the color Lick. And it's just, it's kind of more of, like, a yellow-toned gold. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that with it. Just to give an extra little something. Ooh, I'm so sorry for the finger that I'm using. Okay. Now, I'm going to go... I don't know if I want to do liner or not. I really just don't feel like it. Like... I'm just getting ready and taking pictures and coming back in and splurging on my quarantine snacks. It's my birthday, which I'm like not angry about, but like, I think I'm more so on like the fact that I don't have the choice to like do something. Like that's why I was always okay with being at home because I always had like the choice to like go out or like hang out with someone. And like, now that it's like taken from me, I'm kind of just like, Oh, you know, I saw like a perfect meme that explained it. I'll post it here if I feel like it. Okay, so I'm going into my Morphe Artistry palette. 
and I'm gonna be taking this small smudge brush. I'm gonna go back and forth with like that same kind of bronzer shade color that I was using. It's very similar and create like an eyeshadow wing just to add a little something. A trick to do this, an eyeshadow wing because you literally did nothing. Like you did two swipes and you're done. It looks like you tried so hard, you did nothing. I'm good with that. I'm so sorry for this like lighting that's like interchanging right now. Thank you if you're still watching. So I'm gonna put my lashes on and then I'm gonna come back. Hey you guys, I'm back. So the lighting has obviously changed a tad, but I don't know if this helps a little. Or if that messes it up, I'm gonna leave it on. Um, next I'm gonna get into my face makeup. The eyes and the lashes are done. These are like, I don't know the name of them, but they're by Eyelore. And they're like a wispy lash. And it's my last pair. They're so cute. I hope I can find them again. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do the exact same, like, I'm gonna do the same, like, face makeup that I did for my soft glam makeup look. So just go to that if you miss some products. But I'm also gonna be answering the questions that I got from my Instagram since I'm gonna just be speeding on through. Oh, she looks so cute. Okay, so. By the way, follow my Instagram while you're here. I'll have it right here somewhere on the screen. Clark Scott on Instagram. Okay, so the first one is what is your favorite food? I don't know. I love food. I'm using the Hydro Primer by Milk. And also, I might not say products. They'll be down below or again on that other video, my soft glam makeup. Because I need to get it together. Um, uh, My favorite foods. I'm vegan, by the way as you guys know so i'm a little bit limited in my food i guess but i still pretty much like the same things before i was vegan like mexican food i love that um burritos and pizza are like my main favorite foods but bananas are my favorite fruit um i love vegetables i love brussels sprouts and carrots and celery I love vegetables um probably like my new favorite food being vegan is soup and salad like as simple as it sounds I love soup specifically like lentil soup like lentil vegetable soup I love it it's underrated a good vegetable soup with a good salad super bomb so the next question, ooh, it's 4.44. I wanna get that tattooed, by the way. I just love those numbers. Um, Who are your celebrity crushes? Ooh, I got a couple. So probably my first love was probably Chris Brown, no cap. I love him, he's so fine. And he's such a good dancer and just like, I don't know. I just always loved him. But probably like Drake. Um, I'm going to be taking my foundation brush and just. this all over my face like that y'all i'm so hurt should i have gotten ready tomorrow whatever it's fine oh but back um my celebrity crushes are drake because he's fine i've been in love with drake since degrassi i'm a real fan goodbye um i don't 
know if he's like a celebrity. I guess he's a celebrity, but he's a football player. His name is Travis Kelsey. Mm. I would pass out. Like, he's just a gorgeous man. People where I'm like, oh, like, mm. like Michael Ely's fine, I guess. Um, who's that dude from Grey's Anatomy? Who, he's beautiful. I can't think of his name. Uh, I can't think of his name, but I'll put a picture or I'll put his name right here when I'm editing this foundation combo. This is the NARS and the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. The next question is guy advice. Um, I'm like don't know what to say about that except I again I just saw something else on Instagram make sure it said like make sure God approves of the guy or something like that just basically go to God first before you get with someone not only does it save your time but that's what you should do anyways like Don't get into the wrong relationship rushing just to be with somebody. Like, take your time. Fill them out. Create a little friendship vibe. And see where it goes. Like, nobody has time to be wasting their time for years being with somebody and that wasn't even who god had planned for you like huh goodbye even just like a month two months like that's time that you can't get back so definitely keep that in mind when you're dealing with people like pay attention to red flags too like unless they're able like nobody's perfect there's always room for growth especially in relationships like you should be growing with one another However, if it's just red flag after red flag, God's trying to tell you something, honey. And listen, like, <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. I should do like a video on my, what's it called? I'm single. I have been single for a minute, but I'm okay with it. Like, I'm really kind of just chilling. I definitely just messed up my little shadow, but it's okay. I'm chilling until, you know, God pops up with someone. But for the most part, like, I just want to accomplish, like, my dreams and my goals. And I would definitely say, this is advice too don't get with somebody and they distract you don't get with somebody and they're just like your whole life and they're not even like your husband like beyonce said make sure you get your life before you become somebody's wife like that is the realest statement one of the realest statements i've ever heard because like i want to be somebody i don't want to i feel like that's where a lot of relationship issues happen is where people are trying to do stuff and be somebody and you know do certain things especially when you're like younger you don't know where life is taking you from high school to college to jobs you know traveling so make sure you're getting yourself and you know that your person is on the same vibe as you direction whatever and keep God first period like I want a man who prays for me prays with me that's beautiful should I keep my concealer like this I usually always add Smashbox a little bit but I kind of mm, I'm gonna just leave this today I can never do this much on contouring, but whatever. 
go in, of course, with my next one after. Spray my brush. Contouring is so satisfying. What was life before cream contour? It was sad, honestly. This is like a really pretty contour vibe going on. Mm. Just gonna blend, blend, blend. And then my little nose vibe. I'm gonna blend out my concealer a bit more. the next question oh yeah a uh, reminder wash your hands right now so take my video with you or pause it and go wash your hands that's what I want for my birthday thank you <laughs> so the next question is what's a crazy birthday story um I don't really have any crazy birthday stories I don't know like I remember when I was like younger I don't really think this is classified as a crazy birthday story but when I was younger and I went to this school in elementary school I didn't even go for full of elementary school I went up to like second grade or was it third grade I don't know oh yeah I think I left in like third grade like the beginning but um was it fourth i don't know but moral of the story is i had this friend and we would have like play dates or whatever you know and i don't really know how to say this except for like her parents like i have older parents like most people's grandparents are like my parents age kind of like my parents aren't old but like most people my age have like young parents I've noticed like within my age group but her parents are probably like five ten years older than my parents so her parents are probably like I don't know how old were they maybe like 55 or something when we were in elementary school low-key like I don't know they were older anyways um she was kind of like rude to her parents like super young and i don't know they weren't very like an emotionally available or like lovey-dovey family which is like fine but like i don't know it wasn't it's like when you were 10 and you go hug and play with your mom like she didn't do that and for my birthday i have no idea how old i was i just know i had to be in like the third grade or something maybe like the second or third grade we went out to dinner and she just like, started crying which is like kind of sad like maybe it's because her mom didn't hug her i don't know but it ruined my birthday dinner moral of the story and i was literally sitting there like eating my sunday you know how they give you like a sunday with like a candle and i'm pretty sure that's what happened and my mom is just like rocking her because she's like crying like i promise you i don't think anything happened like i have no idea why she started crying like maybe she fell or she just felt like crying or again maybe her parents didn't like hug her but that entire dinner my mom was like rocking her like a baby like we're young okay like what in kindergarten you're like five so second third grade maybe we're like seven i don't know sis maybe i'm salty because she like messed up my birthday and i have that like memory but that's like the craziest birthday story i have i've had relatively normal birthdays i would say like they weren't always like great like childhood birthdays were amazing i would say like since i turned 18 my birthdays were like whatever 
um but last year was a really good birthday and i mean i this year is a good birthday because i'm still like doing what i want like i wanted to go and like have a full la weekend or whatever go to malibu do this that and the third go to restaurants maybe have a little you know club moment go to the club for a little second because i don't and i think it's okay to go every once in a while um but yeah it's fine that that's not happening as long as i get some cute pictures and i have something good to eat i'm okay so i'm blessed to be here personally and then i think i have like one more question but i'll answer it later um next i'm going to set my under eyes you already know the drill with my Fenty Beauty setting powder and banana. It's the best. Step your setting powder game up if you don't use this. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. I'm gonna set everywhere where I put that concealer. my what's it called and do my little highlight and because that's the real secret to a snatch jawline highlighting your under contour y'all i don't know where that came from i've been doing tiktok too much like or at least watching them like i haven't posted that many but Okay y'all, my camera shut off. That was really rude, but I'm gonna wipe my bake off now. Add it in, brush away. Oop. It's gonna be like my new go-to glam. It's so cute. Honestly, I don't know who I think I am. I was almost not gonna powder contour. And then I'm also going to take um, linen bronze. Do a little bit on my nose. I really like bossed out this makeup look really fast. Like I've never done this before. Also, I'm just gonna wipe that away a little bit and okay. Ooh, y'all, selfie moment. You already know. I need to hurry up. spirituality helped you through the coronavirus so spirituality has helped me so much through the coronavirus like i put my faith in god i believe in god um i'm using the oprah or the Adrian highlight um i think he is almighty king number one ruler of the world and i think that it's a going through our stresses our fears we can give them to him and he 
just feel so safe and just focused, honestly. I think the most important part is to not focus on this, but to use wisdom. Because in God's word, he says, faith without works is dead, honey. So if the government and like, you know, our doctors and stuff, he gave us doctors for a reason, though God literally, that man can do above, you know, what anyone is capable of, but we literally have doctors, we have government officials to guide us and you know for a reason so I think that we should be using every health precaution um, that we can you know with quarantine that we should be taking every health precaution that we can you know such as this quarantine though I know it's scary and it seems extreme it helps contain the virus because there is no cure yet um, washing our hands being mindful of what we're touching and others that we could be affecting I think that we should be doing that and it's obvious that it works because corona because China has made so much leeway as far as um, patients recovering because they followed those measures such as quarantine and you know just paying attention and being mindful of others and um, I think that's just what we have to do again it's just a temporary struggle but we'll get past it and I think that it's so amazing um, just to see what God is doing through it. I think it's so beautiful to see how many people are coming to him. And I also think that in some retrospect that this is kind of helping us. Like air pollution has decreased a lot since so many people widespread have been at home. Like I know especially in Europe, like people said, is it in Venice that the waters have been clearer than they've been in like years. Like a lot of and that like dolphins and stuff are coming to the surface and that like would never happen because the water was so bad and polluted um again people are turning to god that's so beautiful um and we're just taking care of ourselves better like we're shocking ourselves and i think if anything what god is saying is be still and call on me like that's literally what i feel what this whole thing is is be still and on me like we needed a reset I'm not gonna lie I think our world needed a reset and I think that this experience is gonna be humbling for so many and hopefully through it that we just continue to keep God first and move forward in our lives and not take any day for granted anymore like life is so precious and it's so um what is that word like it's not tomorrow isn't like a for sure thing you know like an hour isn't a for sure thing so we should really live every moment being just aware of that and honoring and respecting the life that we're given so I'm you know for myself I'm being healthy and washing my hands and staying in quarantine um trying to incorporate better healthier foods you know I love my snacks but it's all about what is that word conservation conservation is a big thing now because I don't want to splurge on all my snacks um moderation like it's okay to you know have that cake and you know have some cookies like don't what's it called yourself don't like harm yourself and make yourself feel bad for like wanting a snack but you should also make sure that you're like eating healthy eating your necessary nutrients that you need for your body's optimal health so i think that's what i'm really taking into consideration i wasn't like eating horrible but um 
I definitely fell off a little bit and like taking my vitamins and stuff too like I've been on that with this and yeah that's probably all I gotta say about that just keep God first try not to focus too much on the unknown and the scariness of it because it's out of our control but it is in your control to wash your hands But y'all, look at this makeup. Look at this boot. Who is she? Where is she going? Back in the side. <laughs> but I'm gonna just, you know, just in the vibe. Y'all, this beat is so fire. This is my new go-to when I want to do something. I think for the lip <laughs> or whatever, I'm gonna do a little brown lip moment because I'm just doing the brown. This is the Morphe Trendsetter brown liner. So I'm gonna just go over that with my other brown liner. That Morphe liner was in the color Trendsetter, and this NYX liner is in Toast. Toast is a bit more muted, and then Trendsetter is just a bit more, like, of that little darker vibe. You guys, I love this look so much. Um, I didn't use Trendsetter for that lip that I used in my soft glam makeup, but I just wanted a little bit more today Cut in with my Jeffree Star celebrity skin and then I'm gonna go over it with my Mac naturally transformed so this is the finished look you guys I'm not sure if you can see I'm gonna try and move you Okay, this is kind of a better view. So this is the finished glam. Very sultry. I'm serving sultry to you today. Very like, ooh, she tried hard, but like this was pretty quick to be H. Like I did it in like an hour, I'm pretty sure, but yeah okay i'm gonna get my outfit on and then i'm gonna take you guys with me to go take my pictures or whatever and make it kind of a vlog vibe you know just add a little something extra it's my birthday so let's go hey guys so i'm outside now or whatever um i put you guys Like right here, or, I don't know. I don't know where I put you guys. Should I put you right there? Or Okay, so I'm gonna go take my pictures and I'll be back. guys so it is way later and yeah so it's probably like eight something or almost 9 p.m oh 
my arm hurts. I'm filming on my can on my phone, by the way, because my SD card was full the last time I was filming, and I think I was showing you guys me taking my pictures, um, which are up on Instagram. So go give those a like and comment and follow me to see my pictures. I'll have my Instagram up and in the description box below. But yeah, I had a good birthday. I also filmed some TikToks, so those should be up too. And yeah, I honestly just wanted to take some cute pictures and make a YouTube video that just makes me happy. Um, but yeah, I pray for everyone who's watching this that you're in good health and that you're staying safe and at home right now and washing your hands, sis, okay? Um, but yeah, just positive vibes your way. This storm is gonna end, but just stay positive, stay in prayer, and be kind, you know, and considerate of others and their health as well as your own. But yeah, so don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below what you liked in this video and what you want my next video to be. And don't forget to press the subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you get notified when I post my next video. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.